Hey, what's going on? My name is You Can. Welcome to Support Systems. The topic of the stu- <laughs> blooper. <laughs> the topic of discussion today is what is addiction, right? Addiction. I said this in a, a short one time is the avoidance of pain. Now, they did a lab study on rats. You know, they do this on mice from time to time. I don't know if they still do it, but this was one of the studies. They took a mouse and put him in a cage by himself, you know, no wheel, no nothing. And then they had two bottles. They had a bottle with um, heroin in it and a bottle, and my hand in the way, changing the light. My bo- And a bottle with um, regular water. And what they noticed was in those isolated circumstances, that mouse more so gravitated toward the heroin, you know what I mean? Or whatever they put in that uh, dope dope or something like that, some type of opioid. I don't know what they put in there, but it was a drug. Fast forward into the research, right? They had the same situation so far as the bottles were concerned, having one with drugs in Exhibit A and having one with clear water in Exhibit B. But the only difference was they had the optimal lifestyle for a mouse they had you know plenty of you know mice to you know raise a family with you had hamster wheels you had like warm climate you had plenty of food everything that that mouse could possibly want and desire right optimal circumstances so what they found was that in those optimal circumstances that mouse actually gravitated toward the water without the drugs in it so what does that tell you that tells me that addictions come from a relief of some type of pain that you're going through. And how do we stop this, right? A lot of people find different ways to stop it. Sometimes, and most often, more often than not, which is not a not, on you or, or I or anyone else, we take one addiction and we either increase one addiction that we already have or substitute it for another, right? For example, okay, if you um, smoke cigarettes or you did illegal substances, then you automatically you stop. You're going to go, you're going to gravitate towards more of another addiction that you might not even see as an addiction at first, but it becomes more prevalent, like um, candies and snacks, something that seems pretty innocent, you know, but at the same time, it could become an issue too. So, okay. The avoidance of pain, that's what it necessarily is, right? And I was thinking about it because I ain't going to lie to you. I was, sometimes when I'm driving past stores and stuff, I'll be wanting some nicotine. You know what I mean? I think about it every so often, depending on the situation, depending on um, subconsciously what you might be going through. Because sometimes you might not even be thinking about what you're doing because you're always in that mode of just doing what you have to do, right? Most people are in that mode, you know, nine to five, bam, we're going to do what we got to do to get it to get it done. What you discover is that pain is a part of life. It's inevitable, you know what I mean? And that doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean that you're in a bad situation. It just means that you're in a situation where you adapt because if you're in a, if you're in a situation where you feel like you need something to, um, outside of yourself which a lot of us do because we um we all know in some sort of way that we're made for more you know what i mean ain't nothing wrong with the situations that we're in like so far as working a, a decent job being a citizen those things are good those things are great but everybody feels a need to do more maybe in the community maybe so far as business wise it's something beyond what we do that we want to do and then we turn to other vices as a substitute so I would say that it's very difficult how the brain is how the brain works man is amazing to me you know we try to we try to avoid pain through substances but the substances actually make might increase the pain that we're going through it might be a t- it's a temporary fix for a long term um, another blooper it's a temporary fix 
for a solution that requires a long term long term planning long term work and it doesn't come sometimes it's, it's a pass it's not a pass or fail type of situation you either you're going like a bell curve you're going up and down up and down so far success rate and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with pain pain is a part of life because if you didn't have pain you wouldn't even know what joy was so I say this to say addiction is a voice of pain and how do we circumvent it we don't necessarily circumvent it we just adapt to it over time it might take a long time it might feel like oh I need this or I need that and sometimes you might even hit a few you know what I mean I'm not I'm not condoning that stuff but if you do if you have a if you have a relapse if you have something going on get back on that horse and keep pushing that's what I'm trying to tell you even if you eating and you got a problem with an eating disorder and some some stuff might be calling your name just like everybody else does everybody else does have those same cravings that's just human nature they design these foods for us to be addicted to them they know it's money and addiction they you know what I'm talking about they the people the big big pharma those companies like Monsanto that make a lot of money off of our addictions food drugs sex all that stuff that we're addicted to everybody's either addicted to one or multiple you know and then and the only way to be free is to um, somewhat detach yourself from those things and go right into the fire I always think about this right the matrix came out a long time ago then they did a, a new re, uh, matrix remake which didn't do the rest of them justice in my opinion but think about it like this in the matrix he Morpheus wanted Neo who was the one who was the one that was supposed to get him out of the um, the darkness of the matrix and free all these people that were enslaved by these computers these robots these machines that took over the world right so once Neo freed his mind and took the red pill that's where they get red pill from the red pill is like a it deactivates whatever program programming you're under in the matrix programming which you're in, you're in like these fields of tubes where you use as energy your body is used as energy if you haven't never saw the matrix you're, you're like all these people in these tubes like crops kind of like us you know what I mean but anyway when he got out of the matrix and he got unplugged literally because he had tubes and cables in him when he got unplugged, he realized that the the real world was harsher than the, the, the world he was living in. The, the 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 manufactured the manufactured the virtual world that he was living in. So a lot of people wanted to get back into the matrix. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's another matrix reference. Andrew Tate, yada yada, whoever else before him, before that, always mentioned the matrix. But this is very relevant. So that's just to say that real life is just somewhat difficult, but when you get through it, when you you never really get through it, but if you you endure, you find rewards in the toil and the hardships that you went through to get there. You feel me? It's like building something. It's like doing something that you never did. And Imagine a, a young woman that never, you know, grew a garden before, and she's like a Barbie, and people looking at him like, looking at her like, look at this Barbie, trying to plant this garden, you know what I mean, or whatever, whatever it is. And this Barbie, over time, she's reading, she's learning about what plants to crop when they're in season, how to do cold stratification, which is taking um seeds in the winter laying them down and letting them letting the cold get to them because some seeds need that and letting it grow in the spring and sprout on its own naturally things like that and all of a sudden this barbie is actually doing something with the the knowledge that she, that she gained you know what i mean using that as an example like you you have to go through something you can't get something from from nothing it's like everything you do is like alchemy or energy transmutation, alchemy, whatever you want to call it. 
whatever you whatever you take out, you gotta give something equal in return. So if you want something, you gotta give something equal in value. Like I work, we work. So we gotta get give, give out that same value to get the amount of money that we want to acquire. So I'm, that being said, I'm just saying that it's going to be some type of work being done. It's going to be some type of discipline that has to be had. It's, some, it's going to be some type of uncomfortability that has to go go down for you to get to where you want to be. So addiction is the avoidance of pain and how to circumvent that. Just keep working. My name is Ucan. I'm out. Deuces.